Oh, hi, Spontonians. Listen, I am so excited to share with you the very first episode of my brand new podcast, Freedom. This is a limited series with me, Scott Ackerman, and Lauren Lapkus, my pals. Oh, my dear pals. We have abandoned our podcast formats momentarily to discuss each other, the world, and everything in between. Do we talk about sex? No. The three of us spend a lot of time, we might actually, I can't remember. The three of us spend a lot of time, I don't get into details about my own sex life, Jesus. The three of us spend a lot of time trying to figure out what the show should be called. That's true. We share weird stories from our childhood. That's also true. That's also true. And we make fun of each other a lot. That is definitely true. And guess what? We laugh a lot. We have a good time together. I think you will have a good time with us. And I will have a good time thinking about you having so much fun. So be sure to check out Freedom on Stitcher Premium. If you're not already a Stitcher Premium subscriber, and I highly recommend you become one because I am, there's great stuff on Stitcher. It is worth the money. Go to stitcherpremium.com slash freedom. Use the code freedom, that is T-H-R-E-E-D-O-M, to get one month free. Freedom. It's a new thing that you should hear. Everyone, welcome to the Comedy show. Comedy bang bang sounds the same. We need a different intro. Yeah, Someone else started it. <laughs> you started. Because you don't start. Hey guys, yes, <laughs> hey. <laughs> go. Hey guys, it's me, Lauren Lapkiss, and welcome back to another episode. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. You do it. hey guys, it's me, Paul F. Tompkins. I hope everyone's feeling great today. I know we are. We're in the studio together, ready to begin a great show that we all like to do because we like each other and we like you. Fine. <laughs> Fine. It has to be that intro every single time. Oh God, you'll never remember that. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Uh <laughs> <laughs> It's hard without a title. It is hard without a it title. It is. Well, welcome. You know? We're excited you're here. Yes. Here's this show is I'm I'm Paul F. Tompkins. Hello, I'm Scott Ackerman. You may know me from Comedy oh, Bang Bang. No, let me start again. Hello, <laughs> I'm Paul F. Tompkins. Perhaps you remember me from There Will Be Blood. Also, I the have Megan Kelly story. The right? The Megan. <laughs> <laughs> he turned off. <laughs> His head just tilted down, pointed down. at the ground. My eyes are vacant. Uh, people know you from Bojack Horseman. People know you from Bojack Horseman. What? People know you from. People know you from. You play Mr. Peanut Butter, one word. That's correct. Is Mr. and Peanut Butter one word? No. No, just Mr. Peanut and Peanut Butter are two words. Mm -hmm. Peanut Butter is all one word. Mm -hmm. So two words, not three. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And who is this young lady? <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul Ooh, la, brought la. me. <laughs> K. Harvey. I'm Lauren Lab. <laughs> <laughs> the giant rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> the hurricane. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Lauren Lapkiss, and you know me from uh, Orange is New Black. Sure. And you know me from... Comedy Bang Bang. Mm. And I don't know what else you know me from. I guess Jurassic World. Sure. Yeah, Jurassic World. You play the witch dinosaur, do you play? The witch dinosaur, yeah. The, the, one dinosaur with the cackling wearing witch the dinosaur. Pointy hat. <laughs> yeah. Why is that dinosaur on a broom? <laughs> <laughs> they all had themes. I don't know if you noticed. What? There was the Christmas one okay. and the Halloween one. What if one? you were watching Jurassic World and then just suddenly in the corner of the screen, <laughs> a dinosaur went flying by on a broom? I'd like, be so cackling. happy. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably go, yeah, it kind of makes sense. And then one character <laughs> says, did you guys see that? And no one acknowledges Everyone's him. like, it's weird enough we got dinosaurs back here. Who cares if <laughs> they're on Who rooms? gives a shit? <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, everyone. The, it, it's hard to do this without a title. We don't know what the title of the show is. No. Let, uh, let's explain, first of all, why we wanted to do a show, but then we'll talk about the title and what we're going to do about yeah, it. Yeah, we should explain ourselves. Yeah, explain yourself. Well, I will. Here's the thing, Scott, Lauren, myself. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not going to lie. We have a good time together. We do. We, we work together. We Scott play together. Scott doesn't want to admit it. That's right. He's a curmudgeon. <laughs> I hate you guys. Uh, see, that's what he's like. <laughs> and that's why it's fun. But we, uh, I think probably this uh, this really started when we were on the tour. Uh, two, is that two years ago now? No. It was, it was a year and, and a half year, ago. A year and a half ago. Yeah. And obviously there was a lot of time. Uh, a lot of downtime. A lot of downtime where we were hanging Look, out Look, you're together. only on stage for one, two hours a night. Two and a half hours that one time in yes. New York. That was a mistake. <laughs> Uh-oh. But um, we really had a good time together. And, and for, for an experience like that where it's – it's it, can, it it verged on grueling, that tour, where we were <laughs> traveling a lot, it would be very easy – to despise the people that you're spending every day with. Yeah. I can see why some people in bands break up uh, immediately. Absolutely. After yeah. record Absolutely. And never speak to each other anymore. I've never thought of it like that, but yeah, it makes sense. But we all really got along. We yeah. really enjoyed each other's And we really company. missed each other after the tour it's ended. True. Yeah. That's right. And we missed hanging out with each other. And sometimes we go uh, to places together and we go. We went on vacation together we this went summer. To Hawaii. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. And we said, why not actually do a show? This actually also started when when we were doing the tour recaps uh, episodes, yes. that we did the Comedy Bang Bang yes. recaps episode. Yes. Scott, you've That's cracked it. Where this That's idea where it started. Came at. <laughs> we did them all together, and we said, you know what? Each of our shows, <laughs> each of our shows this are very. A mistake. <laughs> this is a mess. Each of our shows are, is very difficult to do. Yes. Yes. Uh, both in booking and uh, having to do comedy the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you have to, like, be funny the whole time. Yeah, and you have to book one, at least for you, at least one person. For our shows, sometimes three, sometimes four, And sometimes even not five. in just the booking, I have to hope that they could, can handle it. Because mm-hmm. they have to improvise for an hour. And it's, some people get very uh, nervous. Mm-hmm. That's why you wear a t-shirt to every recording that says, can you handle this? Yeah. And then if they can't, they walk right out. And what do they think your t-shirt is saying? Can you handle this? Like your actual body? Honestly, most episodes of my podcast are them trying to figure out what my t-shirt's about. (laughs) And yet it works every time. And people love it. I love it. People love your show. They love it. But we said, why not do a show where we just kind of talk to each other? We have so much fun doing- Because also with Comedy Bang Bang, we're, Lauren and I are doing characters. You're kind of doing a character. I'm kind of doing a character and I'm having to do this kind of artificial, you know, sarcastic, you know, ironic thing. Mm -hmm. So why not do- play like this dumb guy. Uh, hey, Paul, he's can like I a, talk to you for one like second? He's like a stupid idiot that doesn't get things. <laughs> um, and that's part of our relationship on Comedy Bang Bang, which will not be part of that's our relationship right. on this show yeah, that's because right. we actually that's like right. each other. We actually like each other. Do you remember the TV show Carol and Marilyn, Real Friends? No. Is it Carolyn? Marilyn? No. Oh. It should have been, and I think they'd still be on the air today if it was Carolyn <laughs> like Marilyn 60 minutes? and it was one person. <laughs> what if we call our show Real Friends? <laughs> No. Carol and Marilyn. <laughs> Carol and Marilyn. He just said no. <laughs> what do we call it? Paul, Scott, and Lauren. No. Real friends. No. <laughs> we, we will have, we're going to vote on title. We're going to talk about the title. We're going to okay, present title. Scott, Paul, and Lauren. Real friends. Mm, I like it a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> there was a show. There, there was these, these two women. Carol and Marilyn. They were Carol and Marilyn, and they were called the Mommies, and I think they had a stage show or oh, something. Yeah, I sort of remember the Mommies. Yes. And yeah. then they they the stage show, I guess, was <gasps> yes! successful. And then they were given a daytime talk show. Yes. Where the gimmick was they were actually friends. I want to look this up. Because sure. everyone, everyone in show business is not friends. Anytime you're no. watching a TV show, a sitcom, uh, and they're, they're like hugging and going, yes. you know what I learned? They hate each other. They all hate each other. They cannot stand well, each other. I think other. we're the only three. That like that each other. actually like yeah. each other out of any show. It's but true because you always this, have so to say that you're best friends with everyone that you worked with. And go, we were like a family. Yeah. Every once in a while, it's true, but so rare. Hey, that reminds me. <laughs> could you bring back clipped? You know what? what? Every day, someone from Brazil wants me to bring bre- bring back clipped. Well, you can do that, right? Can you and bring- of course, it's up to me, and I'm the person standing yeah. in the way. I want it back bad, you know, but there's only so much I, I can do. I want it, Daddy. I want it, Daddy. Give it to me, Daddy. Uh, but no, our creators are very busy with Will and Grace reboot. Mm-hmm. I did a and an episode. No one wants to bad. <laughs> <laughs> I did an episode of, uh, um, oh, my God, what's the show? Uh, All My Children. <laughs> You know uh, what? I wish I did. I wish. Of all oh my God, I wish too. Can we all just do one episode of, episode of All My Children my together? My mom used to. As a family? 
my mom taped uh, all my children on a VHS tape every single day and then recorded over it every single day. And it, I have seen she watch so it? much. Yes, she watched it okay. after work every day. <laughs> she wouldn't just <laughs> tape over one she hadn't seen. No, she was Someday insane. I'll watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what? She thought that meant that there would be a whole tape full of episodes. Um, just repeated over each other. But no, I watched so much All My Children growing up. Did you actually watch that show? I've no. never watched that. I watched opera. General Hospital. Oh, okay. In the days of uh, Luke and Laura and the Ice Princess and all this. Yeah. It was, it was like they tried to make it, the soap opera became sort of like an action Sci-fi movie at kind some of, point. Yeah, Could almost like ever? Greatest American Like a James Hero. Bond. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it, well, yeah, they, they did eventually do otherworldly stuff. Like I right. think there, was, there were aliens. An alien something. thing, yeah. Yeah. Do you think a soap opera could ever be as important as they were at that time because no one cares now because there's so many shows? I I well, I think that the fact that they're all kind of dying out is Are they? Yeah, a bunch of them have have gone off the air. I That's like sad. that they I like that they still exist though. Yeah. And I hope they always do. I think that they will be more important. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll be our most important form of expression. I think shows will eventually be as big as Seinfeld again. <laughs> Some shows. <laughs> yes. Some. Oh, wait. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's what I did an episode oh, of. okay. Mm. And it was an episode <laughs> oh, right, yeah, after, totally <laughs> right after the Boston bombing. Ew. And so there was a- That was not good, by the way. It was not good. And they promoted the episode, or the, it was like coming back that new season, they promoted it by putting these sort of Space Invader characters- Oh, yeah. Uh, just planting them around- All over, oh, yeah, all over cities. And people yeah. thought they were bombs. I remember that. Yeah. Everyone's so dumb. So this, oh, this episode was making fun of people being upset about that. And so it never aired. Mm. And years later, I had somebody on Twitter- a guy on Twitter was like, when will you release that episode? And I said, I'll never release it. <laughs> I, and so then other people started writing me like, why won't people want to see it? I'm like, too bad. I don't, I don't know why I was put in charge of this, but I'll never let it be seen. I love the way you interact with your fans. I put them in quotes because they're so often idiots who don't understand what you're talking your about. Your fans are idiots. Like, why would they like your comedy? I just think they're like, dumb. Oh, <laughs> I don't think those are. I I think that there's the people that are or, fans, and then there's people that are like, I was told this account was funny, so or I'm they follow saw it. a retweet yeah. and then they're like, yeah. Huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. out of context, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I hate watching people. I hate I hate so many people on Twitter for the. How You're going to find are. that Lauren hates a lot of things, <laughs> <laughs> as we did on tour. <laughs> Is that your takeaway? Yeah, boy, Lauren I'm wearing hates a shirt a that says things. "More Love." We all had our. It gripes. says "Love More," <laughs> dummy. <laughs> You're looking at it upside down. I didn't even look at it, dummy. <laughs> like, you think you're wearing a t-shirt like, more love, come on, give it to me. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, should we talk about the title? What? Yeah. You want to do that now? I yeah. want to call it I freedom. thought we agreed. We, look. I hate to bring the off mic onto the on mic. Okay, please do though. That's that's what this show is: the off mic onto the on mic. But we, st- <laughs> if it's anything, that's the title. It's the off mic. It's the off the mic. On mic. <laughs> Slide into my on mic. Oh god! <laughs> like, um, we had talked uh, over, when we were on vacation, I think, mm-hmm. which was j- the July Fourth holiday. Yes, <laughs> and it's now fireworks up in the sky around the same time. <laughs> Don't July don't say 2nd. when, please. All right. That's All right. Right. You I remember can... everyone's birthday, September nineteenth. No, nope. why do you remember everyone's and birthday? <laughs> it's, it's not the nineteenth. No, it's not. Wait, Wait it's, not. it's no, it's October. No, it's no, September. It's, it's September. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's September. It's September twelfth because it's my friend Mackenzie's birthday. That's September twelfth. Right. Ah. That's why, and that's why too. <laughs> <laughs> How was September twelfth, two thousand eleven, or two thousand one for you? It was. It was something else. <laughs> Did you? I had, that year, I planned a big birthday party. Right. Like it was. I was still at that age where it's like I want everybody to come yeah, to a I'm bar. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were like, I'm gonna have a plate, plate with uh, cake. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I felt it falling apart, so I just <laughs> ran with it. <laughs> but you were, you, were <laughs> <looking at me. laughs> you were looking at me. You were looking at me with supreme <laughs> confidence. It was like Bertation. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like what? You know that Bertation? No. Look up the word Bertation. You'll know what I'm talking How about. How dare Listeners you? Listeners know what I'm talking he about. He gives me a look it up and then a dismissive yeah, wave. I get yeah, it. Go I one of these. Um, do you remember, and this, I don't know whether, and forgive me if I'm being sexist right off the bat, but uh, <laughs> it seemed it seemed to be a thing that primarily women I knew used to do, but 
when they Be were affected like, by nine eleven. <laughs> yes, no, when they it's were so female <laughs> from like when they were graduating college to like twenty seven or something. Their idea of a good birthday was having dinner at a restaurant with all their friends. Like they would get all of their friends. That is a that does feel like a female. I don't know why it feels maybe just because I went to so many with Kulop. I don't know. I've done a couple of those. But I feel like when I when, around the time when I was doing that, everyone that we knew was kind of doing that. That was a very common thing. Maybe not. Well, going maybe to not a bar, the I dinner. think, is a, no, yeah. is a yeah. guy thing that sit down. Yeah, yeah. yeah we seems. always did bar birthdays. Right, right. We always did bar birthdays. It's common. It's common. But that common. one after, like, it was the day after nine eleven. So I, yeah, everyone came because they everyone to was. Cry with you. Yes, <laughs> I was like, hey, let's say this isn't about my birthday anymore, and it's <laughs> let's all just see each other. Mm. It was weird. It was still very weird. Mm-hmm. And did you mm-hmm. get any gifts? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've always been replicas okay. of the twin towers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say for cheap. It was I was going to say you had a cake with a plane crashing into it. Come on, and that's Lauren. That's I couldn't get out when I was doing Lauren. my Porky Pig. I wish I just stuttered that what, time too. That's not what this show is about. It's not. We don't know yet. We don't know. It might Maybe not it be is. about Maybe that. <laughs> that's Every episode. It's all nine eleven jokes. <laughs> Um, oh. So for the title, you were saying we had a uh, we were had well, a discussion the whole show, on July fourth. On July fourth, we had a discussion where like what should be in the show, and we kind of pitched some ideas. And how about this? This is simple because the whole idea was to keep this as simple as possible. Mm-hmm. And we're like, great. Kiss. Then we keep never- it simple, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll be the new kiss. <laughs> yep. Which one do you want to be? <laughs> the cat. And one of us will have to wear double makeup. <laughs> I'm the star man. There's only three of us. I'm the star man and the demon. <laughs> that would look insane, both of those things on top of each other. It would ruin it, I think. Probably. It would ruin two great things. <laughs> I love kiss. They're so cool. I love they're, that they- <laughs> They're the coolest. Gene Simmons is so great. He's so cool. I love that he does his makeup. <laughs> Do you think someone does it for him after these many years, or is he like, only I know how to do the demon? The idea of putting that on over and over again is one of the most depressing thoughts I can Did you ever do theater where you you have to do your own makeup, and it takes like a half hour at least, and if you're doing something even more complicated, you have to... I did kiss makeup for like one show that I did for about five weeks in a row. Oh my God. It was just... Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Yes, it's a lot. So can you imagine being him? No. That's I, his whole life. I remember thinking, I forget what I was talking about with this, of like getting a, if you were in Kiss and you get a groupie back to your, your groupies back to your hotel room, and then you're like, okay, I just need some time to take my makeup <laughs> right. off. And you're like calling over the bathroom like, you're still into this, right? <laughs> Just, I'm almost or done. Or you just like go down on a girl and then her pussy's all black and white afterward. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And red and all red over. All <laughs> I did uh, dress up. Yeah, what's black and white and red all over? I did dress up as uh, Ace Freely for <laughs> Halloween good. once. And then- <laughs> That's good. It's good. I'm gonna. It's good. I'm gonna. Remember it's good. That. I'm gonna go remember. ahead. <laughs> I dressed up as Ace Freely for Halloween and then started making out with a girl at a party afterwards nice. and she had the she had the reverse <laughs> imprintation of it on her face. Oh, so you're just mashing your yeah. head against oh, yeah. hers. Yeah. Well went, she was a zombie too. I went to a Halloween party and I was a, I was like a dead prom queen mm-hmm. and I made out with a guy who was a clown and it was disgusting. And then like later when I thought about it I was like, how gross must that have looked? It's disgusting. so I don't even know how we started kissing. When you so think gross. about it like sex in general is so gross that people <laughs> must really want to have it in order to <laughs> to overcome to, the to overcome just how awful it's it is. It's the worst. Ugh. And God. the best, right? It's so weird that people do that. <laughs> <laughs> so for the title, though, we wanted to keep it simple, shithead. Yeah. We wanted to keep it kish. Kiss, keep it comma, simple, kiss, shithead. Kiss, comma, S. Yes. K-I-S, comma, S. <laughs> <laughs> what if their name was Kiss? They had a little pause in is, between the is S and the kiss, S. Is the, what is... Is their kiss supposed to stand for something? No, well, they said Knights in Satan's Service was supposedly oh, what it was, but the band never said that because— yeah. But they were, at, at the time, there were parents that thought they were satanic. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so just like funny. It's like a Scooby-Doo cartoon. They but were, there, there are people who think Harry Potter is satanic. That's true. Me. <laughs> you do, <laughs> Lauren? I always forget that. evil that. wizard. I always forget that. It's, yeah. it's witchcraft. Well, it is witchcraft, of course. Yeah. It's certainly not You religious. must be a total Slytherin. Yeah, actually, I am. Are I you? I did. I no! did. No! <laughs> I've never heard anybody say this. I am. I did. I don't care about Harry oh, Potter oh. much at all, but I did the Harry Potter 
quiz on Pottermore.com, yeah, which is the official. I did that fucking you don't hat. care about Harry well, Potter at Lizzo, all. Lizzo. But I did the official quiz I don't quiz either, on but I did it too. I for was some listening reason, to people like, talk about it. I was like, yeah, people making you go to Pottermore? Was it just Aaron Whitehead? <laughs> no, and actually, I, I, she, we've gone over, me and Aaron just have talk about Harry Potter all the time and how much she loves it and how much I don't care. But I was listening to a podcast and the person was talking about how they had done this online. So I was like, let me just see what I get. And I got Slytherin and I was really happy. I really? Been, yeah. I would have been psyched. Yeah, I what are you? I think Hufflepuff? I was just no. no. <laughs> God, you really I, look down I, on him. I know enough to be insulted. Like you know enough that it's insulting, and I know enough to be insulted. Well, we have no more information. Exactly. What's the other? There's like a V one, like Vertigo. Griff. I think I was Gryffindor. Gryffindor, which is like that's the vanilla. Yeah, you're Gryffindor. Just like regular. You got into the yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hufflepuff, <laughs> Slytherin. What's the other one? Uh, Viceroy. Uh, <laughs> Vice Magazine? Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. I said Vertigo, Slytherin. but that can't be it. Vertigo. <laughs> hello, well, you're thinking of hello. Voldemort. What is it? Ravenclaw. I don't know. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Did you know that you don't, <clears throat> do you know you don't pronounce the T in Clear your throat before <clears throat> you. I, I've t- been talking about this. <clears throat> that's true. I, I just told Paula. That's Lauren right. has an affliction. You know about it. But um, <laughs> Voldemort doesn't, you don't pronounce the T, apparently. Yeah. Just, what do you mean? I've yeah. seen the movies. Yeah, he's they from, talk about him all the time. Let me he's tell from you, Paris. Let me tell you something. I read the first four books, and then I didn't read any more. And then I saw the movies, and I didn't really pay attention. I didn't retain anything. I didn't notice that they said it differently. And I saw on Twitter that it was different. I saw the first movie and the first <laughs> book, and I read the first book, and then I was out. And then the movies, as they went on, started to look better to me. They started to look more intriguing, mm-hmm. but I just couldn't make myself do it. I, just, I like the yeah. third movie. Which the one end. was that? Uh, Harry Potter in the end? <laughs> Harry Potter in the end. He just like Is that why you didn't see anymore? The end, everybody. <laughs> Bye-bye. So long, chaps. <laughs> then he sails <laughs> off on a broom. I'm off to see the dinosaurs. He's like, I go to the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got it. Go well, let's talk about this title. <laughs> All right. God okay. damn it. What do you want it to be? You were in the middle of saying something. I (laughs) thought then we didn't talk about it again until yesterday. Right. Okay. Initially, Mm. we thought it would be called Freedom. Yes. And then we pronounced like Freedom, but three people. And then we talked about all the different ways it could be spelled. Because we were talking about the the number three and then D U M B. And then we Mm -hmm. also talked about T H R E E D O M. Right. Right. And then that was pretty much it. And <laughs> everyone we've – then we were at Comic-Con and we said, hey, we have – oh, we also had another title, which was uh, Lapkins, Lapkins Man. Lapkins Man. That yes. one's rough for me. Or Tom – what was the other? Tom – Tomkins Tom, Man. Tom, 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 Tomkus. Tom, Tomkus Man yeah, or something Already like not good. <laughs> well, we at, – at Comic-Con, we were doing a panel when we said, hey, we're doing a show. And then we said it's either going to be this title or this title. And we said both. And no one liked either. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was like, we don't care. People were pretty quiet throughout that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we thought this is going to wait till we drop this revelation on their heads. Uh-huh. And they were like, People were excited about the show. They were like, this. They were excited. <laughs> yeah, no one liked either title. So then that's that's maybe been something that's been standing in the way of us even recording for a while because we don't have oh, a yeah. real title. Yeah, and it and seemed so- like people weren't into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the title. <laughs> So what we decided to do... I'm eating on the podcast. I just wanted to know. That's what... This is the kind of show it is. What we decided to do is we decided to record the first episode, and we have uh, our trusty assistant, Corinne, over here, and she is writing down things that we say... Although she's not writing a lot, I have to say. She's writing more than I thought. There's a lot she's of stuff less that. Than she's written way more than I expected. She's got a David E. Kelly legal pad mm-hmm. in front of her. From David Amazon e. Kelly, basics. a lot of people don't know, he used to write his shows on a legal pad. He still does, Because he's comfortable right. writing on legal That's pads right. because he's a lawyer. What's more comfortable than writing longhand? An I entire just script. saw a, a tweet from, I guess, the writer of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Mm-hmm. And it was written, like he found the first pages of his script and it was all written on paper like that. And I was like, do people do that? <laughs> like he wrote it on paper? I'm not trying to be funny. Uh, well, I mean. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Well, Lauren, that's one thing if you're listening to the show for the first time. Maybe you're a, a, a fan of one of us but don't know the other people, which seems insane. Where is he going with us? But Lauren, <laughs> Lauren is a little bit younger than us. What year were you born in? Do you uh, mind saying or no? Yeah, I, I don't mind. Um, I don't lie about my age because I think that's lame. So did I mm-hmm. until I crossed <laughs> a certain barrier. Oh, honey, it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in 1985. So you were born in 85, so you're a little bit younger <laughs> than... so insane to me. 
You're a little bit younger than Paul and I. A little bit. So, yeah, a little just bit a younger. Speech. But I'm not saying I'm shocked someone ever used paper. I understand. No. But, but I'm but saying. As someone who wrote in the years before computers, in fact, my very first script I wrote on a, a type of computer where it would only save 25 pages. You well, could and only, then what? You print you could, it? And then you had to print it and copy it and then delete it all and then write another That's 25 pages. That's nuts. Yeah, so I was writing at the time when computers weren't around. Wow. So, you know, everything was like typewriters before that. Right, and then I, but, so was that just really annoying to write on a typewriter? So you'd, it'd just be faster I would, I to wrote write plays, on paper? Yeah, I wrote plays on typewriter and you were constantly making mistakes and having a white out. Oh, oh yeah. All that kind I remember of stuff. doing that for papers in school. I remember yeah. writing sketches in longhand. Like I, I wrote plays out. in longhand completely and then I would type them later. Later. Mm. That's mm-hmm. cool. It's yeah, it's really, very cool. It was really cool. Oh, my God. When people saw you doing it, <laughs> looking yeah, at Yeah, did your, you go to a cafe and then hold up Of course, you dragged your, your Underwood. <laughs> Do you think Frank Underwood was named after the typewriter? Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Great. I feel like part of the story of House of Cards is that he used to be a typewriter. and then he, <laughs> Like an anthropomorphic typewriter. Yeah, like the brave like little a, toaster. I was thinking Beauty and the Beast. Did okay. the brave little toaster get turned into a real person? No, but I wish he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if he did? I'd like to shake his hand helping. for his bravery. I watched Thank that him movie. For his I watched that movie a few years ago. And it was the slowest thing it's I've a movie? ever seen. What? You're playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference that only we know. Oh, great. I'm glad I was cut out of that. <laughs> you know, know, no, you know it. I know, I know it, it, but I we said, can't explain oh, it. I can't explain it. Oh, I know it now. Um, yes. Oh, I Sorry. know it now. <laughs> I know it now. I know it now. I know it now. The Brave Little Toaster is a movie. Yeah. It was one of my favorites uh, when I was little. But it's. You said just said it was boring. I just rewatched it. Oh, it was so slow. And tell I, me more. Anything that I've rewatched from like my childhood is basically so slow that I can't believe anything. Everything you used to like is garbage. Yeah. Even no. even up to like a week ago. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love oh I love like all my old stuff, but I when I rewatch like some of those shows, it's like no sitcom could go as slow as like Alf went. Yeah. Like, you just like could <laughs> like never glacial. Yeah, it's crazy. When no you think about patience. it though, like everything is so quick now, supposedly, you know, like when you watch old stuff, but it's even it's gonna get even worse to like how fast our sitcom's going to be in the future. Here's what's weird, though. I'm I'm rewatching uh, episodes of Star Trek: The Next Generation because I did a podcast where the, you know it's about rewatching that show, and I hadn't seen it in years. And so I watched an episode from the first season, and it was it was bad. It was it, it was it was a particularly bad episode of the show. Yeah. But then I was like, I really like the show, so I started just kind of skipping around episodes that I remembered and and watching them again, and it it holds up pretty well. But there are certain episodes where. They have these gigantic ideas, and they're trying to get to them so quickly. Mm. And it's like you needed more time to talk about this. There, there's right. one where uh, Scotty from the original show, James Doohan, James Doohan, beam me up of beam me up fame. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my shirt, up me beam. <laughs> so he he goes through some wormhole or something. Up me beam is pretty he, good, by he, the way. <laughs> I noticed. Corinne. No. No! Up Me Beam I is forbid, not bad. We're going to have to discuss who <laughs> By the way, we're going to the powers. The three well. of us are going to hear these suggestions later on in the show and we're going to talk yes. about what our favorites okay, are good. and then perhaps yes. title the show. That's right. Yes. So, he ends up on the the present day Enterprise. This is like hundreds of years in the future now. Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Wow, this is amazing." Wow, look at this here. dude. Yeah, Remember well, from well, Beam Me Up fame. First they're or Up Me Beam. <laughs> they'll put, they'll push their t-shirts. <laughs> Um, it's so, an off day for us. We're allowed to wear these. So they spend like <laughs> the barest amount of time being amazed that this person from not just hi- their history, but like a, a noted, hi- what would to them right. be a notable historical figure. That would be like if, wow. like if General Lee came. <laughs> <laughs> Not maybe not for everybody. <laughs> so they they spend like a minute on that. Like I, this is amazing to see you, mm-hmm. and then uh, be, go better uh, get your. You better go. Go better. Go better. <laughs> go better. Get yeah, no, no whammies. Get you. Get you. No whammies. No whammies. Go better. You get you. No whammies. <laughs> you better go get your arm taken care of. You you broke your arm in the. How did you break his arm? Journey. You didn't even mention you went that. Went a fucking wormhole. What? You break your arm when you go through you a wormhole. You want every single time. <laughs> That seems impossible. Doesn't it just suck you in and gender, he, genderly? <laughs> yeah, genderly. <laughs> Tenderly, gently. Genderly? Genderly take you into another You're, dimension. It's a, it's a real woman's thing to get sucked through a wormhole and break your arm. <laughs> so he gets, 
he goes to sick bay and they and he starts talking about on my enterprise and all this shit. Is that what he said? I went to he went to sick bay. Sick bay. Oh, got it. He <laughs> goes sipping. <laughs> I thought that was like a futuristic Star What's Trek term. Sick bay. The sick bay is well that any any ship has sick bay. What do you mean? <laughs> it's it's like the doctor's office. <laughs> It's like the principal's office, but for on? doctors. Any ship has sick bay. That was like a fake sentence. <laughs> it is true, though. <laughs> Any ship like, has sick bay. Not like a nothing. bad title. <laughs> Any military. Not a bad title. How about sick bay? <laughs> so anyway, they. the rest of the episode is him feeling like he's an old, useless man because he can't help on the new Enterprise. And everyone is rude to him. People are like, uh, yeah, could you, do you mind? We're trying to do something here. It's nice to meet you. Please okay. get the fuck out of because our business. his science is old? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And he wants to tell stories and everything. So then the, the, the are they plot- Are they in the middle of an, like an emergency situation? Yes, yes. Then he shouldn't be telling stories. No, he shouldn't be. That's the thing, is that the plot of this episode becomes- how sad it is that we don't value our old people and how old people feel, oh, you know, wow. out of the way. But it's like, maybe you should have just had a generic old person on the show and not like a famous person from a couple centuries in the past. <laughs> That's a lot like that Studio 60 episode where the old writers <laughs> come back to the studio. It's but actually it turns, the exact same It turns same out plot. they're great. Right. It's the new people that suck. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Look, tell you what, why don't we take a break? Because okay, we yeah, want this we? to be a short, we want this to be a rel- relatively short show. We don't want to yeah. do these long yeah. episodes. We just that we want to derail do. one story per segment. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you? Were you still? No, in the I was dumb, but it took oh, forever. Oh my god! Did you, do you feel like you needed more time to tell that story? No, much I like didn't the need writers? more. No, I didn't need more time. I was given too much time as a result of all the detours. <laughs> Got it. It was a very. It was not even a story. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Here's my panic about this. Before we go to break, yeah. My panic about moments like that is, oh no, this has no payoff. This is just an observation oh, that I I'm know. making. Wait, and this has I, no payoff. And now I feel like, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> pretty good title. I have a question about something that just down. happened. Yes. When you said I'm shocked, were you quoting something? I was quoting you. You said it like a second earlier. <laughs> I don't even remember him saying it. I just remember you saying it. Well, because it sounded like a story from my past. It's not like you were quoting something from my past, and then I thought, really? wait. Wait, you know this, this story? Huh? Wait. Wait, I mean, huh? is, is it related to a story that you can yeah. tell in our next yeah. segment? Okay, tell you what. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to hear this story about Lauren being shocked about something or about <laughs> someone saying I'm shocked. shocked. Okay, there you Someone's go. Someone's shocked. Okay, but this is very exciting. You witnessed a shocking. Yes, I did. We're going to be right back. We're going to come back with more Up Me Beam right <laughs> after this. More of This Has No Payoff. We'll be right back after this. This Has No Payoff is good. <clears throat> okay. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this is Scott. I'm Paul. And I'm Lauren. And Lauren, before the break, <laughs> teased an incredible story. Okay, Triggered so. my B imper- by me impersonating her. Triggered by B impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered by <laughs> BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, okay. everyone. This episode has been triggered by BMW. So I, when I was little, when I was in like fifth grade, we would rollerblade, my friends and I, or my brother and I would rollerblade to this candy show. Well, it was a Never del- your brother and your friends? Um, no, always separate. But I probably <laughs> mostly went there with my friend and we both would rollerblade there. And it was this deli that was really a sandwich shop, but it was- mm, they From had, a deli owner, that's a rave. <laughs> but they had- So it was a deli, but secretly a well, sandwich shop. Uh, where it's going is the part that does <laughs> doesn't line up with it is that they had a so are most delis they don't sell sandwiches well you know in New York how they say a deli and they kind of mean like a bodega right right oh, okay got in it. Evanston Illinois it was literally a deli and it was a sandwich shop and there was a glass a case with candy behind it and so we would go there with our our change that we had saved to get candy I never had a sandwich there and <laughs> I would go and then the guy who worked there um, <clears throat> for anyone who's from Evanston. It's called Al's Deli. Shout out to Evanston. Al's Deli. Al is the dad, and then his son, whose name I never got, but I did interact with many times in my childhood. Al Jr. uh, Worked there, and he was this kind of uh, buttoned-up sort of guy with, like, sort of, like, uh, he had on an apron over his button-down shirt. You mind glasses. bow tie, if I'm correct. Maybe some glasses. I might be making him into more of a... uh, A Poindexter. Sure. Character. But... He would have to go pick out all our candies, and we'd have like it'd be it's probably really annoying for him because we would stand there and be like, "I want one six slits, and I want you know one." Uh, so you would mix it up, and he would charge by the pound, but you would say, "No, you they want. were just little individually priced packets, like just uh, like got it. bulk candy." And then I, anytime he'd get shock tarts, he would say, 
I'm shocked. But he had no expression, and he never had any fun, as far as I could tell. But, but that was, his, that was joke. his joke. And so we always would quote him. And then when you said that, I thought, wait, was he quoting something? Mm. And that was funny to him? Mm. But then, no, you were just quoting me. I was just and quoting so, you. Yeah. And I probably said it like him because you of did. him. You said, oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> so wait, th- is this the, <laughs> this is the only time that Al Jr. did a bit? Was if you were the shock. That's parts. the only thing that he ever oh, said. Shocked. And he would say it every time. I'm shocked. I remember the first time that I ever uh, figured out that delis would make you sandwiches, and they were good sandwiches too. Figured it out. Like well, in I, New York? Honestly, I was seven. I think I was seventeen years old. And, you know. Oh, just like at any regular deli. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I'd, I'd grown up and my my mom had made my lunch and made sandwiches. And they were always the same, the way she made them. And my mom used to make And when you saw like, other people eating sandwiches, you're like, my mom made that. Well, yeah, I figure, <laughs> I, you know, but I, or I never. Or they made it at home. Yeah, I figured you had to go to a restaurant or something yes. to buy a sandwich done some other way other than making it at home. And so I remember my, my friend, we went into this deli over next to the Tasty Freeze. And he was like, oh, yeah, you can buy a sandwich. And it's like $2 for a foot-long sandwich with, like, just incredible deli meats and I've stuff never, like that. I've still never done that. Oh. <laughs> I've only ever sucked on chili dogs outside of Tasty Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? Jack and Suck it on chili dogs <laughs> outside on chili dogs. of Tasty Freeze. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. John Mellencamp. <laughs> Suck it on chili Suck dogs. Suck it on chili dogs. That's how he gets off. Suck it on. Suck it on <laughs> chili dogs. Revolting. <laughs> hey. Revolting. Uh, welcome backstage. Do you want to be sucking on my chili dog? Suck it on we chili got plenty dogs. of chili dogs to suck on. <laughs> he just takes Polaroids of girls sucking chili dogs. <laughs> Really suck on it. <laughs> Make it soggy. <laughs> Welcome back to the episode. Um, Paul is getting Welcome some some episode. water. We don't well. We don't know what the title is at that's this true. point. Uh, could be up me beam. That's it, very. It that's hard that. to say. That's yeah, too hard right? to say. Up me beam. Up me like, beam. How about no payoff. No payoff. It just has no payoff. Guys, we gotta save we'll, it till yeah, the we'll end. Yeah. Save I, got, it I later. feel like I got some good ones. You have some good ones. I feel like I But did. what if Corinne didn't write them down? Did you write them down? I wrote Mentally. them down. Oh. And physically I wrote them down. Oh, you did? Where? On your On phone? On my phone, my telephone. Okay. That's great. This is gripping. <laughs> so this is No, gripping. this is gripping. I'm holding a bottle. Shocking. <laughs> Um, so one thing that we were going to do is uh, we we're just going to talk about things that happened to us, of course, and things from our past and things from our present. Maybe things from our future. Like, I've what are our hopes? Ideas. What are our dreams? I feel like I'm going to be in a grave. My name will be on it. <laughs> are you going to be cremated or are <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I think about it a lot. I want to be cremated. I want to say I'm just, the oldest. Okay. I, I just want to say I think about it too, but I've said it. I've said it for 20 years. I want to be cremated. I think graveyards are weird. I usually want to be in a casket so that everyone could come and look at me. (laughs) (laughs) Look at your shirt. (laughs) More love. But I think as I've gotten older, I'm more comfortable with the idea of cremation because it's uh, kind of pointless to keep making things that just go underground. Yeah. I I used to think I wanted to be buried. And then after my parents died and I never – went to visit either of their graves. And I realized, like, at the grave, like, as they were being buried, like, I'm never coming back here. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, because I didn't feel... Where, I where didn't are, feel, they? are they in they're Philadelphia? They're in Philadelphia, yeah. yeah. I didn't feel a sense of connection to that spot. Well, you like, still, I knew that they were gone. And you, you could still I mean? have, like, a plaque or something yeah. if you were cremate, cremated. Or a bench. Here's what's weird. My dad was cremated, and he was buried next to my mother. Wow. His ashes were put in, a, in an urn and then a box and then buried. Wow. Wait, a box? Wow. Like a coffin-sized box or just a box? No, no. No, no, just a box. Oh, okay. A, t- a tasteful box. <laughs> but he's taking up a coffin-shaped space. Well, pretty much. You can't stick anybody else I know, in there. So that's the weird part. Yeah. You know? Like, we're just going to run out of space on this well, earth. we definitely will. Actually, every time I drive into New York from the airport, there's that really big cemetery, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where you see the skyline right behind it, and it just makes life seem so stupid. Like, you just see, like, all of these these tombstones and then the it's like, hey, then dummy, skyscrapers this is coming for like you. you're all going I, into that I hate that stretch so much it's, it's so bleak. weird it it's is real bleak. but every time I see it I'm like wow everything's so pointless <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's what this show's gonna be about the pointlessness of anyway life. catch alert on crashing we're sorry beat home on HBO <laughs> I like how pointless things are in my mind. I mean, I kind of, that's kind of my whole approach to life. I feel that way about, (laughs) I feel that way about the ocean. Like the, uh, the idea of the ocean 
making you feel small or space making you feel small, I actually find that comforting. Yeah. Really? That it's that I'm just like a tiny speck in this. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So sort yeah. of like a dog that, It kind of takes they, the pressure off. A dog you know likes I mean? its crate. It likes to be Dog confined. loves its crate! <laughs> you should, I'm going to send you this video and everyone can go Google it. It's called uh, Optimistic Nihilism and it's on YouTube and it's this whole little thing that kind of like expresses that idea in a way that I really like. In a way All that's, right. and how is it comforting though to know that nothing you do will ever matter? Because that's, it's, awesome. it's comforting <laughs> It's comforting to know that that's just the deal. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's true and for it's everyone. the same that's for the everyone. That's the pact that yes. we've made with the universe. That we all just happen to be here, and it's mm -hmm. you know we're all going through the same stuff. We're all we're all having these feelings, and it's right. it's it's very. I feel like it connects me more to the world than it makes me feel um, like a minuscule part. So of it. So then, what is the point of everything? Yeah. Fuck if I know, dude. <laughs> is it, well, is it the effect that you have on other people? Is it the, I mean, that's, the, yeah. I, I think so to some extent. I mean, I think that's why I like doing podcasts and stuff, even though it can feel like it's pointless sometimes. Because mm -hmm. you're like, well, why are we doing one? But the idea that you could make someone's day better is nice because there's no point to anything. So if you're going to be sad and feel bad, maybe you could laugh a little bit and then it's better. And it's not just that's entertainers like, who do that. So it's not just yeah. entertainers whose yeah. lives are worthwhile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, don't, but, I mean, but why, do like, we, anyone, why do anyone I choose? can do that for other people and it's yeah. not, yes. not just when we're doing podcasts. No, yeah, I meant like why do I choose this specific activity? Right, right, right. What, why just, is it meaningful? But of course everyone's life is meaningful and that's also the point. Right. All lives matter, I understand. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to say for <laughs> years and I'm wearing shirts that say that. <laughs> That's so, why I don't understand what's happening in our world right now, though, because it seems like everyone's just doing horrible things for no reason. Yeah. We're all going to die. Why do you have to take away everyone's health care? Why do you have to make it so women can't have abortions? I don't understand. Well, some of some of it's money because money everyone, – everyone wants more money, no, yeah, regardless. Yeah, dumb, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I want it, too, but I mean well, it's I was because of the way everything is that I want it. I was thinking about Aaron Spelling the other day, and forgive me if anyone who knows Aaron Spelling or their family is out there, but I was thinking about, like, all the money that he made, right? Mm -hmm. And supposedly he doesn't give it to Tori Spelling. Like, Tori Spelling didn't get any of it, right? Ugh. Wow, I didn't so, know that. That's nasty. Or maybe she gets, like, a tiny, tiny sliver right. or whatever. She got $1,000. <laughs> How terrible would that be? <laughs> so well, All right, it's time to read the will. Tori, 1000 That would be smackers. worse than nothing. In cash. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of here. <laughs> Throws it at her. Uh, no, but, I mean, what's the point of making all that money? Like, more money than he could ever spend, right? Yeah. And I bet he loved the work, and that was maybe more important, sure. you know? But, um but why why make all the money if you're not just going to give it to your loved ones? Like what what I know I don't understand. Like I, I, I was thinking about that with with Jay Leno recently. You know, we were talking about how he he doesn't spend his he doesn't touch the Tonight Show. The Tonight Wait, he Show doesn't. Money. He lives. He said this many times that he lives off of his stand up comedy money. Uh, he never good, touches. Good, good. The, what 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 the what. He just puts what? it in the bank. Be in person. When what? <laughs> when was last time Fertation? he did? <laughs> Stand up. He, he, he does it all he the time. He did it all the time. He's a, he would do so he'd make it, a he lot never of stopped. money doing it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, he would, he would leave, oh, okay. I he would leave the Tonight Show. Even during show. the Tonight Show, yes. He would okay. leave the Tonight Show on Friday afternoon, do a whole weekend of shows, come back to the Tonight Show Damn, Monday he morning. worked hard. He works really hard. But, but <laughs> That's my why he dressed that way. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling up the sleeves. Denim. Yeah, he wear full denim. <laughs> hard Canadian worker. tuxedo. He's a hard worker. But my but my thing is is he yeah he's made a lot of money he's never touching that money but is he touching it now what is he doing with it he doesn't have kids like yeah. what yeah that seems like, weird to not I, enjoy it or to give it not to give it to people I have to say I didn't uh, I I used to I, those Star Wars prequels I was like mad at George Lucas like a typical nerd like you ruined it you ruined it and the day that he sold Star Wars to Disney for a billion right and he mm -hmm. gave it all away to charity yeah. so like, awesome yeah I was like there you go that's yeah. what you do that's what you do with your money. If you're That's not going to so give it to cool. your kid, and and he has a lot of kids, yeah. he's adopted a, a lot, lot of, kids. of kids. How many kids does he have? Fifteen. I love adoption. I don't know how many kids. Does he have? <laughs> I don't know. What's, they're all Star Wars characters too. It's like the he cantina the in actors there. And they're and they're made just them be. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has. He's like a He's adopted a lot of kids from other countries and stuff cool. like that. But but that's I don't know. So I'm, yeah, no, I think that's true. I feel that way. Like I'm not rich like that, but like I like to feel like I can. I mean, you're almost rich like that. Look, I almost have billions of dollars. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm in a place with my life where I can afford the things I like to do, and that feels good. But I like to like give my family gifts, and my dream is to be able to like pay for my family's homes and things. Like that would mm -hmm. be. Like, 
like my I would that's really one of the you know driving what? forces. I'll pay for your family. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it would feel so good to As do a, that. My Christmas gift for you this year. <laughs> okay, great. If you want to. <laughs> would you take that? Yeah. You're giving it away. But you Why would never buy me it? a house. I don't own a house. This is an interesting <laughs> concept. If we did when when I, when I was growing up we did a thing called Pollyanna, which is some what also is that? Secret Santa. It's where me and my cuz I come from a family of six kids and so we would uh, the, the kids and the parents would eight in the house eight in the house eight is and enough eight is enough <laughs> and we would um was, were your mom and dad gonna bone ever i beg your pardon <laughs> were they gonna bone and then they saw saw the show is enough <laughs> and they're like that really hits home <laughs> Put it I away. messed up so many I words in that. You, you're so delighted with yourself, though. I no, I'm seen, not delighted. You seem very happy. I'm not delighted. I'm delighted <laughs> in the sense of almost every word I said wrong. <laughs> Usually I'll get one wrong per sentence. True. But almost everyone? <laughs> it's a real hat trick. Um, we would, you know, it's like Secret Santa. You'd pick a name and then you had to buy that person a gift. Um, so what if we... <laughs> Do you think where we had to buy each other's families gifts? Oh, that's I would love like, that. People we don't know. I That'd it's be just fun. it's just as hard as buying something for someone you know. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. It's easier, Absolutely. I would you think. You just know the general facts about them and you can be like, what's something fun they might like? I and mean, yeah. that would be easier than being like, I know everything about them. They're gonna have this reaction. They're gonna I honestly this. the people who listen to conversations throughout the throughout the year with people and their family and then know what to buy them in December. Like they make mental I notes. Love that. I can do that with, with my wife. Really? I can do that. What, with my, what have you bought your wife? Oh yeah. I have an idea. Uh, for like Christmas. you want a history? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything. Well, what was something she said and you like kept track of it in your head and then did it later? Oh, I'm blanking now. There's been a few things though, where she was, and it's, let me tell you something. The payoff is so good. Mm-hmm. Anytime someone's done you that for me, I, think I it's can't so believe you thoughtful. remembered that. Yes, yeah. it's the, it's the best. Yeah, it's the right. best. One example I remember the place where I proposed to her was a place where she took me to um, her hometown for the first time, and she we parked at this place, and she said, "I always thought that would be a good Necky. place for a wedding reception." And I remembered <laughs> it years later. That's the spot where oh, I proposed to wow. her. Did you have your wedding reception? That's so there? good. We did not because <laughs> it was fuck it, that place. Because <laughs> fuck that place. <laughs> we already did something there. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we actually looked into it, but yeah. a, f- uh, a friend of the family offered their home oh, for that's the right. wedding yeah. and reception. Wow. That's a great story. Yeah, Whew! that was a That'll huge save relief. Ya. Yeah. 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 That's cool. She still demanded ten thousand dollars. She's she's still demanded ten thousand dollars? Yeah. In in cash? Yeah. Up really? front. Really? Up front. Really? And then she locked the doors and pretended it was Halloween yeah, and she my, turned out all the lights. My wife. Yeah. Oh, your what? wife demanded ten thousand. <laughs> to, to marry her. her. <laughs> to marry her. It's a reverse diary. Everyone's got their price. Di- <laughs> <laughs> reverse diary. <laughs> diary. Reverse diary diarrhea. is not <laughs> there. We got it. Found it. <laughs> reverse diary. <laughs> It is like a reverse diary because we're just telling each other instead of writing right? it down. Exactly. It is. I don't know how it's That's reverse, right. Podcasts but. are like reverse diaries <laughs> in a sense. Yeah, you're right. I the mean, reverse diary. <laughs> you said that like, like, it, like it we haven't title. been saying it for the past five I said minutes. it like that's the title. But I right, so it like a dusty. No, you guys were saying that could be the title or whatever. <laughs> I said it like an announcement. <laughs> okay. okay, I get it. What I was going to say, though, is one thing, one thing, oh, let's just go to a break. Oh. <laughs> we don't want this to be too long. Let's go to a break. What time is when it? It's, oh, yeah, you're yeah. Right. When it's we, Let's o'clock. go to a break. When we come back, we'll have more of whatever this show is, Reverse Diary, Up Me Bean, This Has No Payoff, whatever it is, and we'll talk about titles in the next one. We'll be right back after this. Hello, everyone. We're back. This is Scott. I'm Paul. And I'm Lauren. I hate saying my own name. <laughs> Do you really? I mean, I don't, but I used it feels to hate weird. my name growing up. Really? I just was tripping out on my name the other day in a text thread with somebody, and I was like, that's really my name, Paul? Doesn't it feel weird? <laughs> Do I seem like a Paul I at all? Like it's almost like ball. <laughs> it's almost like that. You know what I mean? Tall? It's weird. Ball. I hated my name and was always like, no one named Ackerman has ever been famous. Oh, last name. I hate, yeah, well, I hated both. I hated my first and last. And I was like, and I really couldn't stand it for a while. And then, then I started realizing, well, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a dumb name. And he 
Yeah, you know, he made it, and so so I don't know. I felt better after that. Yeah, I don't mind my name, but I do, it's like I'll often be like, "Wait, my name's Lauren." Like it just feels weird. But I like the name Lauren, but I I don't associate. What do you make people it. call you? Uh, bum bum. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Did your okay, so, did your parents have a nickname for you when you were little? Um, I got a lot of nicknames that weren't related to my name, right? But like Kitty Cat or things like that. Kitty Cat. My mom called me that. Oh. But I my first name is Dorothea. My name is Dorothea oh, that's Lauren right. Allegra. That's right. So I always felt some sort of like disconnection from all of that. Did yeah. you decide not to be called Dorothea? Or no, I was never called that. It's just my right. Brother. That it, that was really weird about my brother too. His he was uh, Bert. Uh, was Bert Junior. Bert. Well, he wasn't even Bert Junior because to be a junior, you have to have the exact same middle name. Oh, as well. right, right, like George W. Bush. Yes, yes. exactly. So, oh. uh, but but I, from what I know, he was older. Uh, no one ever called him Bert. They just called him by his middle name, Greg. I guess to dif- differentiate, but right? That yeah, that wouldn't be the same thing as you, though. Yeah, but that is something I feel like happens where people like pass down the name, but then don't call them the name. Right. Uh, it's an interesting. Was move. yours passed down? Yeah, it, yeah. I, my great grandma is Dorothy. Um, then why the why like the twist Greek version? I mean, I don't know. There's Did you know her at all or no? No, no. She no. was dead before you were born. Yeah, um, it sounded harsh the way I said. I knew my great grandpa, but that was my only great grandparent that I knew. I knew one great grandpa. I only knew my grandmothers. I did not know my grand. They died before I was oh, born. Really? My grandfathers. Yeah. Mm. Do you know your grandparents? I did. Do you? Uh, they're gone. Mm-hmm. We're all dropping like flies okay. in the old well, fam. on that note, here's my segment I wanted to introduce. And this is not going to be a recurring segment. It's a one-time only game. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing segments on the show that we surprise each other with in, so, this, in order for it to not just be one long rambling conversation. Yes. Anyway, and Lauren, is, what do you got? This, this will be this very different. This segment is called... It's called... <laughs> it's really good. Okay, that's the name of it. It's called. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. I'm in. <laughs> How would you spell that? Like you wouldn't. So you wouldn't. You Got it. So no one ever even tried. <laughs> so what the game is is that two of us will improvise a boring, uncomfortable conversation, and the third person will laugh and find an excuse to leave the conversation. Oh, it's like a game. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> what, and who? Which one do you want to be? Uh, I want to be in the conversation. I don't. Oh, someone else has to be the person leaving. Okay, I'll be the person leaving. Okay, right. so okay. Paul and I—you were all talking together. But so we're all we, talking together. So are Paul and I talking first, and you approach, or no? We're, we're all, all talking, talking but you just kind of want to leave, oh, got but it, got you it, don't know it. how to get out of it. So you're going to do a polite okay. laugh and leave. Okay, um, but nothing really funny will happen to make that possible. Okay, great, okay. great, got it. <laughs> yeah, and actually, the traffic that I encountered was so horrible. Where are you coming from? Uh, the west side. I was going to the east side, but it, it was just so long. Like I was. Is this the same route that you take all the time, or? Yeah, I f- always follow the map. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I um. Oh no, that I, wasn't a joke. Well, I, was I funny. actually do. What's funny? <laughs> I just I thought you were saying like oh I always follow the map. The dumb me. I should just follow my instincts. No. I thought you were making a joke. I'm sorry. I got, I got it. I, got it. Get, I always follow the map, so sometimes right. the path will change depending. <laughs> yeah, the path does change. I have to um, go over. <laughs> what a rude guy! <laughs> oh my god, That's so rude. <laughs> Why didn't you just leave? That would have been better. I have to go over. <laughs> Wait, and the laugh. So did I not win? <laughs> you didn't win. Okay. Okay. How now you win. Now we'll find out. We'll all three do it. Okay. So, okay. All right. Um, I'll go next because I don't feel the confident that I'm going to win or anything. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. So we're all talking. So um, I noticed you have a, a rainbow tie clip. Oh, yeah. On. It's um, National Coming gay? Out Day. No, I'm not. But I, I have family, friends that are. And today's National Coming Out Day. So oh, that's so great. Nice to just, How long you know, has that been? Around. I don't know how old it is actually. I'm not sure, but I yeah, yeah it's probably um, a while. Pro- I would I would imagine probably not yeah. that long actually. Yeah, I mean, it might be something that we're that has been going on for a while that we're not aware of that we've only yeah, that's become more aware of recently. Yeah, you know, since people, you know, that's it's great not, that I mean, the, I mean, the whole reason to make something a day is to make it, you know, <laughs> just have more awareness. Exactly. Okay, so What's so funny? I could- <laughs> Not really. No, no, I wasn't. I thought you were saying something else. I missed. Oh, what did you? Oh, what did you think? The whole point of having a day. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. What? what? <laughs> I win. <laughs> okay, now we found a loophole. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait, one more round. One more. Paul's gonna do okay. it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
So um, where are you actually, where did you go last weekend? I was, actually I was in town. I don't know. You were in town? Yeah, maybe my Instagram. I tried, I tried texting you. Oh, well, I would still get it even if I was out of town, right? right? I mean, yeah, well, I, <laughs> that's true. Oh, no, I gotta I, go. I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> Actually, yeah, <laughs> I get it. That was a good oh. spot. <laughs> that also seemed like an extremely personal conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Where were I didn't you mind last it. weekend? I texted you and you did a robot. <laughs> I was in town. I just All right, that was fun. ignored you. That was good. <laughs> good game, good game. Good game, good game. All right, let's slap hands. Good game, good, good game. game. Good Shake game. hands. Good game. Good game. All right, uh, we're just about wrapping up. Should we do the titles? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do the titles. All right. La- Lauren. Great. Good segment. Thank you. Corinne, our, our assistant, has been uh, writing furiously writing down titles. She looks to have about 20, 25 uh, in there. Do we want to announce what they are? How do you want to do it? Pass, pass it around and each say one or one person say them? Why don't we each do five from Okay, each do Corinne's five list. from the list. Okay. We'll pass the, the pad around. Now, are we going Kelly clockwise or, or counterclockwise? I'll leave that up to you, Scott. Let's go clockwise. All Lauren, right. have you texted whomever you were texting? CW. Yes, I did. Okay. It was an email, and it was important. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm reading one title. You're reading five. Never mind. Wasn't listening at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Title pa- number pause, one. Pause, though, after them so we can discuss. Okay. All right. I'm fully down, guys. I'm fully down, guys. Mm. I'm fully down. Uh, no. It's okay. It's cute. I don't, but I, I don't. give it a 60%. A test. On Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> a test balloon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Can you handle this? Uh, too no. generic, I think. Yeah. Paul, Scott, and Lauren, real friends. No, <laughs> ma'am. Uh, was that five? That was four. Oh. Um... Carolyn Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, wait, there's one more. More love. More love. No. That's sweet. Okay, you sweet, but no. All right, so far, see. the first one. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Freedom, which we've discussed. <laughs> we end up just writing down titles we already have. Uh-huh. Then right. in parentheses, on the... No, that's, that's on the next one. On the, oh, I see. Okay. There are two options. Oh, I see. Off mic brought into the on mic. <laughs> ah, off mic brought into the on mic. It's, it's what about long. off mic? Off mic. Not bad because no one would ever call their, unless their name was like Jerry Off. <laughs> hey, I, my I, show's I, off or mic. Or it's like, kind of like Handmaid's Tale. I'm willing to bet that there is already a already show a called, called Off Mic. Already a thing called Off Mic. We'll do, uh, we'll do a, right. a search. But not bad, off mic. Okay. okay, here we go. How about this one? All 9-11 jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Corinne, what are you doing? That's bad. <laughs> that one's bad. Look, look, look. Uh, uh, we just throw them all out there. And we, sure. and we said it, you know? <laughs> we did we say said it, it, and we don't we, even like it. We can't act uh, like Corinne made that up. No, no, no. That was us. All right. K-I-S comma S. Keep it simple, <laughs> shithead. K-I-S comma S. So stupid. Welcome back to KIS comma S. No one will ever find it. <laughs> <laughs> on the app. What if they're on looking the for app? they're looking for KISS? <laughs> on the app. All of our subscriptions That's are true. people who mistakenly thought it was gonna be a, a podcast about, about kiss. kiss. Ow, yeah. I hurt my hand. Oh, oh you no. No. You did. I saw <laughs> that. That was a hard hit. Ow. I heard I felt it through the table. Mm, oh. I smelt it. <laughs> uh, oh, honey, it gets worse. Oh, I like that. Oh, honey, it gets oh, worse. Oh, honey, it gets worse. That's not bad. It's, That's funny. It's not bad. That's not bad. That um, was uh, about, of course, uh, age when we were discussing age. <laughs> How many did I do? And birthdays. Uh, How many did one, you do? Two, three, four. Okay, this is my fifth one. Okay, here we go. What? That's one. <laughs> that's that's one. <sighs> Okay, that one's out. With what? <laughs> With a question mark? Oh, okay. D- I'm sorry, was my line read not obvious? <laughs> uh, we have to do another one of these. All right. <laughs> the next episode is going to also be us trying to figure out the name. <laughs> uh, okay. I know it now. <laughs> I'm, I feel like we... I, 
at one we, point there was said del- better things. There was yeah, deliberation but- between who should do this, Corinne or Kevin. What? I volunteered <laughs> Kevin, and Corinne said, "Why should it be Kevin?" Yeah. Let me at it. Yeah. What let was me at one- it. One. We'll keep going because maybe. Okay. okay. She made Kevin call out sick today. Yeah. <laughs> He, he's he's home, not getting paid. He's home pretending to call. <laughs> yeah, I texted all him. day pretending to call. <laughs> <laughs> pretending to call. Bring, bring, <laughs> mom. I'm calling someone. <laughs> he's not well. <clears throat> Up me beam. Of course, we discussed. <laughs> of course. Discussed. Go better, you get you. Oh God. <laughs> That's more of what we're talking about, though. I like it. Ugh. Any ship has sick bay. <laughs> The I, sick bay. Uh, the sick mm, too bay. I hate it. <laughs> I don't. I still know what it means. Is it a room? Is it an area? It's, a room. it's like the medical it's facilities the, on a ship. Okay, you did tell me that. I just didn't hear. You. <laughs> <laughs> didn't retain. Uh, I've done. Okay, this is five. Genderly. <laughs> that just gives the idea That's that we're going to that we're going to talk about gender issues, yeah. which yeah. we never will. Oh, never. I'll never. I'll never talk about it on. Um, mic. where did we leave off? Genderly. I know, but I couldn't find it. Um, Genderly. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Too generic, I feel. This has no payoff. I mean, so far. Honestly, I love that one. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, or just no payoff is another option. I think mm. this has no payoff sounds more like a title. Of yeah. Something. Sucking on chili dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking on chili dogs. Sucking on chili dogs. Sucking on chili dogs. Outside the taste free. Let's try it on for size. Hey, welcome back to Sucking on Chili Dogs. No, why oh, do you do it? Sucking on Chili Dogs. We can always just play that clip of the song instead of saying. Sucking on Chili Dogs. Welcome back to Sucking on Chili Dogs. Uh, everything's so pointless. Uh, I don't even remember that being said. It's my that's, life motto. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, reverse diary. <laughs> it's interesting, but I don't think. Ha ha ha, good. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. Um, that's not bad either. That's not bad. Here, let me take a look. I'll, okay. s- I'll see the ones that we sort of like. <laughs> I think this has no payoff. Might be the best and most accurate description of what we're doing here. Yes. Now, I also have some suggestions. Do you, Lauren? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Can I read mine? <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me write down the ones that uh, we thought were okay. Put a checking but, mark next yeah, to Yeah, I'm them. putting a checking mark. Checking uh, mark? Put a checking mark. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Put a blue diamond like Julian Assange puts next to his name on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, because he's, oh, like, he's got not it. verified. Okay. Yeah. What yeah, a weenie. Yeah. I know, it's sad. Okay, I got five here that we sort of responded to. Go okay. ahead. Okay, what do you got? We have Freedom, we have Lapkins Man. <laughs> this is a play on the three amigos. Los Tres Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I li- it's clever. Uh-huh. Friendos. Right. Work Friends. <laughs> <laughs> work friends into the <laughs> no, just into work, the real friends. Just work friends. I like work. Yeah. That, that was funny. It um, is funny. Triple dip. <laughs> triple dip. I like triple dip. I got the triple dip. <laughs> triple the, drip. The magic number, which is because, based which on is three. Three is a magic, three is magic number. Uh, triclops. Mm, Try Scots. <laughs> you all, all have to be, all all be Scots. <laughs> uh, Threezy. Threezy, sleazy. <laughs> Take it threezy, sleazy. Three enough. <laughs> Three is enough. And then these, I think, I had a feeling they might be reflective of how this was going to go. Yep. Okay. Will you just let me speak? <laughs> yep. <laughs> You've had your turn. <laughs> yep. And this one I came up with while we were recording. This is frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay. So you okay. didn't have fun, you say? I had a great time, you guys. Uh-huh. What was your second one that you said? The, oh, of the, the last, of the one last one? three, yeah. Uh, you've had your turn. <laughs> you've had your turn. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, uh, let me, let me, uh, I, I'm not sure about the other ones before that. Why should we trust you using a dry erase marker to write on paper? <laughs> fuck the fuck out of you. <laughs> This guy's the town lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> the town ludicrous. Oh, every so like every to town should have a ludicrous. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> what Chris, you got in that Chris bag? Bridges? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every town should have a Chris Bridges. Uh, um, okay, so here's what we have. I'm fully down, guys. <laughs> sounds, no. sounds too generic, I feel like, of like, hey, I'm fully down, guys. Yeah. Off mic. Yeah, okay. I like it, but it's probably already done. This has no payoff. I love that. Love that. 
Strong Suck it on, chili dog. No. No. Veto. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, I have to go. <laughs> not bad. Tough. That's tough. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. You've had your turn. Uh, no, because that almost sounds um, mean and Antagonistic now. Yeah, now when we're saying. really about fun. Yes. Um, uh, I think... So the Off Mic exists as a podcast. We okay, just found so out. Okay, so cross that off. Cross that out. Okay, so we have... We didn't know that about with Raised by TV until it was too late, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, no, really? Everyone's telling me on Twitter, but guess what? It's all too late. It's all happening. What are you going to do? We're keeping it. Uh, and you... they, it was cleared with those people. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So they're not doing it any longer? They're doing or... it, but they're just, they are aware of us and they don't care. They don't care? I guess. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know what they said, but it was cleared up, so everyone stopped telling me that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know there's another Raised by TV? Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you okay, had so your turn. <laughs> we're between these two. This has no payoff. Okay. And ha, 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 I have to go. <laughs> I still think this has no payoff. is It's very clear. I like that one. Here's my reservation about it: mm-hmm. is I feel like it's <sighs> self-deprecating. Yeah, it's too. It's, That's true because yeah. it does have a payoff. It's fun. It's fun. What about also? What podcast has a payoff? What about the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> payoff? <laughs> oh, the, I like that. The ultimate yeah. payload. I, I would rather make a gigantic promise <laughs> yeah. than tell people this isn't worth listening yeah. to. Yeah. The ultimate payoff. The ultimate. Payoff. That's good. I the like that. Ultimate payoff. Okay. I like that. It's very confident. <laughs> the ultimate payoff. All right. So it might be that. Um, <laughs> but and y'all know. Person you know because, because you're listening to it. Yes. Uh, what would be really funny is it, it's none of those, no, <laughs> which is also possible. <laughs> and people are like, "No, dummy, it's this." <laughs> um, but we don't know that yet, um, guys. I think we got to wrap it up for this episode. Um, we're gonna try to do this every week, uh, and we're gonna try to. <laughs> who That'll knows? Be the hard part. That well, will be the, we're we gonna can do it. We're gonna try to bank a lot of them. And yes. So, so we may not be topical, but maybe. Maybe we'll be talking about what, you know, that's what we want to do is we want to talk about just whatever comes to us. Great. You know, whatever yeah. is affecting our lives. And you'll love it. That's right. As of this recording. <laughs> you'll uh, love it. <laughs> Donald Trump has just been sworn in as the president. <laughs> and I'm feeling uh, good about it. Let's give him a chance. <laughs> love the guy. We great have, TV guy. <laughs> great TV guy. Great TV guy. Um, all right. Any parting words? <laughs> parting is such sweet sorrow, of course, <laughs> as the immortal bard once said. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, I, I, anything from uh, either of you guys? Do nah. it, We should have a sign-off, huh? Yeah. How about the yeah, sign-off? We should off? have a sign-off. And we go oh, three dumps. Signing off, signing off. Signing off. <laughs> what? Signing on, signing off. Signing on, signing off. Signing on, signing off. Signing off. So, okay, this is signing on, signing off. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.